This is like me making my first ever YouTube video. Guys, welcome to my brand new YouTube golf channel. I am so out of my comfort zone, but I know this is necessary and I think it'd be interesting to watch my progression. zero through that entire video. Uh, guys, how are you doing? It's early morning. Mum and baby are asleep and I haven't been in the gym now for near on 12 weeks since Blake was born. Therefore, I need to get on it. I want to compete in long drive, but overall my fitness and my health needs to be better and I'm very much an amateur when it comes to this stuff, obviously. I post a lot of golf videos, which I feel like I can give instruction or give advice um, uh, that is sound. Here, very much out of my comfort zone. Now, I've been in the gym last year um, uh, quite a bit. Got our club head speed up to 130 miles an hour um, uh, comfortably, some PBs above that. But we need to go harder, we need to go further. I need to explore nutrition. I need to explore how to get faster, explosive power, flexibility, as well as just general health, get in better shape, eat better, because that has been awful over the last 12 weeks. And hopefully this is some motivation, not only for the guys that just want to get fitter in general, but if you're a dad and you've just had a newborn baby, i.e. eight weeks old, um, and you're trying to find some motivation, then struggle through it with me, um, uh, because it's not going to be easy. Um, uh, but overall, it's gonna be worth it. We've got a goal. I'm very much determined to complete this goal as well. Please do not take any of my advice throughout this entire video. I'm not a personal trainer. I'm as knowledgeable, no, I'm quite knowledgeable, but I'm as knowledgeable as the majority of people when it comes down to gym exercises. Um, uh, and I'll just talk through what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Did legs yesterday, which is pretty woeful. Um, for the first time in a long time uh, and it's going to be upper body today. So I want to show my PBs where are we at the moment um, in February or the start of February and then let's see where we are at the end of 2020. Um, see what I'm lifting, see how fast I am um, and what I learned throughout the entire year because the idea hopefully through this journey is that um, I'll have some idea of what exercises work, what exercises don't work, what I felt can make you faster and then in my lessons, I can make people faster as well. Um, uh, but yeah, very much a novice. Don't think this video is going to be for everyone, um, uh, but also I think it's very much necessary for myself, mainly because if I post this, upload this, I'm committed. There's no going back, and I need to start showing some kind of results. So I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to show you upper body, see where my PBs are at the moment, talk a bit through that, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I don't think you guys are quite ready for the level of anxiety and cringe this video is about to produce. If I don't get at least 200 comments of abuse, I will be disappointed. But this is the start. This is where we're at. In a year's time, hopefully we get to look back at this video and go, yes, that was pretty pitiful. However, at least he is a lot better now. Uh, and now I've made the plunge, there's no going back. There's two types of fitness videos I see because um, I watch all fitness videos. That's all I watch on YouTube. Don't watch any golf content whatsoever. Um, and I love a lot of the fitness guys out there, but there's two types. You've either got the PTs or bodybuilders that are already shredded, um, or you've got guys that weren't and a year transformation in about 10 minutes and now they're shredded. Whereas you've got this guy, slightly overweight, seriously weak, um, uh, trying to hit a golf ball as far as he can next year, but just in general getting more stronger and more explosive, which hopefully this does relate to a lot of us. Um, uh, and I think my PBs are quite similar to probably what the majority of an average male's PB would be at the age of 28 or 30 or 40, or some of these probably 70. But bench first, bench obviously isn't a core um, exercise for golf but every athlete in the world, whether it's a basketball player, baseball player, football player, athlete, you name it, I bet they smash bench press to their weight ratio. Um, so it's something obviously, I'd say for golf, obviously triceps help. All golf is, is shoulders, core, legs, and back. 
that's it. That's basically a golf, which is basically um, uh, your whole body, which I just described there. So obviously, you know, my knowledge isn't as high, but we're just looking for explosive stuff. I've worked with PTs before. Um, I've worked with guys that have given me a gym routine and that's all we're working for. Uh, I'm just gonna show you basically how not to do a chin up that is, by the way. I think I got all of half a rep out of that and uh, the jump is way too small for me. So that's nice, I'm up to an XL now or I shouldn't tumble dry my stuff. So we're learning as we're going. Please abuse down below, feel free. A few rows here. Again, this is one I do feel is quite specific for golf, i.e. trying to keep your body weight stable when the CG is outside of your body. So when you're standing over a ball, keeping your back straight, obviously you're swinging around yourself, keeping your back straight so it's got good rotation, you're not hurting your lower back, that is, and trying to build some kind of back muscles. But obviously if you're in a golf ball, trying to hit it in the center of the club. Form was pretty awful. This, as I say, first upper body session for 12 weeks. Um, and hopefully over the next month or two, we're gonna quickly get back into it. Again, just like the chin-ups, you'll see all of about a quarter rep here as I try and demonstrate. Um, uh, but it's gonna be nice to see at the end of this year what kind of club head speeds we're doing and what kind of levels of strength I have at the end of the year. Hopefully it will relate. Hopefully it will give some kind of guide and idea because everyone says don't do gym work because it'll ruin your golf swing or they say get in the gym to help your swing. I think every top golfer in the world is in the gym, no question. I bet every top 10 golfer there has ever been could squat the nuts off anything, as well as deadlift and bench press, um, seated rows, you name it. As well as long drivers, I watched Mark Crossfield's vlog with Jamie Sadalowski. I thought that was really interesting. And when he was training long drive, he was in the gym 80% of the time, 20% hitting golf balls. So I need to get well, obviously I can't get taller, but I need to get faster. Not really worried about getting bigger, or aesthetics for that matter, but obviously nutrition and everything else should take care of that. Here's me quickly attempting 26s, and put them back down, son. You're not ready for those. Um, uh, and then back to the 22s. So overall, guys, give me some suggestions, what kind of exercises, or let's say strength tests you wanna see me do, more than happy to do them and fail at them. Um, and then obviously, hopefully we can get better with those throughout the year as well as just get faster. So hopefully guys, you learned absolutely zero through that entire video. Um, uh, but obviously I'm excited to show you some kind of progress. Once I publish this video, that's it. There's no going back. So I'm obviously committing myself to the deep end, trying to make time where I don't necessarily have time. Um, and then obviously show improvements every two weeks or so. I think it'll probably be every other week that I upload these kind of um, vlogs. But at the end of the year, it'd be cool to have a complete montage of where I was in Feb to like Feb next year or Blake's first birthday and go, this is how I improved, this is how I got faster, this is how I got fitter. Not particularly worried about the aesthetical side of it. Um, but obviously, with better diet, more exercise and lifting more, hopefully I'll get rid of the dad bod. Right guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Catch you guys later.